but hey, Sarah. Alright, so right now, I have to sit in my bathroom because there's a bunch of people home. And, you know, so yeah. I didn't read your letter yet because, like I told you, I'm going to read it out loud. Alright? So I will block out names just in case so, you know, nobody gets offended. Not that I really care. But, yeah. Alright. Dear Emily, oh my, where do I begin with you? We have been friends for the longest time. Ever since Miss Chuba's class in second grade, LMAO. Good times, right? I will always remember you as the girl who married Lucas Lacasio. Oh, Jesus. Lucas Lagasio in the schoolyard and the girl who always wore that rainbow shiny shirt. Side note, funny story, that's how me and Megan became best friends. Uh, well, yes, it is true that we've been friends for the longest time, but we actually didn't start getting close till maybe 8th grade freshman year of high school. I remember all our serious AIM conversations late at night about our lovers and our self-esteem issues. We've obviously been great friends since day one without really realizing it at first. Remember all the times we had while hanging out with Casey, Megan, and Amanda? Yeah, I remember those too. I don't know whether to call those good times or bad times, but I do have a lot of memories with you guys. Hanging out with you and them, hanging out with you and with them made me realize how much of a sweet girl you are and that I want to get closer, that I wanted to get closer to you. I knew you didn't deserve half the bad shit you got from people, and obviously karma got them or they changed and became better people from what they were before. But anyways, I'll just say I've enjoyed your company forever. And sophomore year was was when we really got when we really started hanging out all the time. That's when we had Mr. G and Miss Cody. <laughs> Do you remember when um he had to make up that rule where it was like think, process, think again and then speak. And then you you were talking about how it cost like a nickel to flush every time. Yeah, I remember that. That was a good time. I know you probably got sick of me, but I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, I really did get sick of you, but it's okay, because I still love you. We would meet up in the mornings and eat breakfast, walk to school, do homework together, etc. Good times, right? It doesn't feel like it's been almost three years from that. That's when we had our fallout because of, you know, people and stuff like that. And honestly, you don't know how much I regret that ever happening. I don't know what got over me to drop such a great girl like you just like that. I'm an idiot for doing so. And in my last two years of high school, that will be one of my big regrets. We could have had more time to spend together, but honestly, I'm glad that at the end, at the end of junior year, we started talking again. And it's like the pieces got picked up again. That was a little redundant. You didn't need again twice, but I'll let it slide. Emily, don't put up, don't ever put up with the shit I gave you with anyone else. You don't deserve me as a friend sometimes for some of the shit I've done to you, but we have all made our mistakes. You're such a wonderful person to be around. You're adventurous, fantastic, loving, caring, and just fun to be with. I've had some, I've had the best times with you without even trying. Our talks are always great in person. You honestly make me laugh so hard. And not a lot of people can do that. Sarah. That is such bullshit. You laugh at everything. Like, that stupid cat picture that Joe has, or whatever, whoever's cat that is, I don't even know. But you died laughing for no reason, okay? <laughs> so it's not that hard to make you laugh. I can totally be myself around you without a care in the world. Yeah, I know. You never wear bras around your house. or um, And if, like, you know, your parents didn't find it weird, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't wear pants either. So, you know, but, yeah, whatever. Okay. I'm honestly going to miss being around you all the time in college because I will never be able to find someone that would be able to that would be able to be comfortable around like that. I know you're going to be successful in college, Emily. You are one of the smartest people I know, honestly. Without even trying sometimes, which gets me really jealous. Just remember to focus in school and be yourself. I know whoever you meet in college in college, comma, everyone will love you. Comma, no comma. I don't know. Just remember to branch out and try new things. I know you'll have a great time and I know and I know I won't have to worry about you so much since you'll have Lauren and Alex with you. You might have to worry about them, though. It's okay. I'll look after them. I'll take care of them. Remember, you can always come and visit me whenever, and I'll sure to be come up to visit you some weekend. I screwed up that sentence, but it still made sense, so it's okay. On that note, you've been a great friend, Emily. You make it sound like we'll never be friends again or that I've died or something, Sarah. And I couldn't ask for a better person I've spent these past three years with. Or past years with, not three. I love you so much. Love, Sarah. 
I didn't cry. I'm sorry. I just don't cry. You know, no big deal. But it was a very nice letter, and I appreciate it. And I'm glad. I'm glad I got to read it. You know, and um, I wish I could have wrote you a letter, but we all know that I suck at writing everything, and I'm better at making videos than I am at writing. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of that. Um, good luck in college, Sarah. Pretty much, like you've pretty much covered everything in that letter. So I don't really need to say much. I mean. I wish I had my old laptop right now. I'm using my Mac, so I don't have any of my old videos to put up for us. But, um, yeah, I mean, you've been a great friend. Sure, you know, we've had our fallings out and you've annoyed the shit out of me, but there are definitely times where you've an I've annoyed you and, you know, we got that through. Um, let's see, what else did we need? Remember when we went to Atlantic City and we were there for, like, three days and I hoarded all my money. Like, literally, I spent no money and I had, like, three three hundred dollars left and I blew it all on psychics like why would you let me do that why why would you let me do that come on it's just like when we went to the city and you let me blow money on a psychic why would you do that now I'm afraid to have sex because I'm afraid I'm gonna get pregnant because you know I'm super fertile yeah you know poor choices Sarah poor choices but like you said you know you're you're not as bad as you made it seem. You didn't put me through so much shit, Sarah. Like, a lot of it was my fault, too, you know. But we're over it. We're good. We're friends, and everything's great. So, you know, you're going to do well in college. You know, you and Ashley, you're going to think her name's Ashley, right? Yeah, Ashley, you guys are going to take care of each other, and you're going to be friends. And we're going to uvu at least once a week because I want to meet your, you know, your boo lover or whatever his name is. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The video is going to be seven minutes and change. And YouTube only allows for 10, so I gotta go. Alright, Sarah, so every time you feel lonely, just watch this. And you shouldn't even feel lonely because you could always call me, text me, you know, Kim Possible up in this mother. So, yeah. Alright, Sarah, I love you. <laughs>